Hi guys, um, apologies for the noise in the background, my 3D printer is chugging away back there uh, printing something, but I just wanted to do this little little video clip really um, about this mainspring winder. I've been, uh, I was talking on a forum with somebody having unsuccessfully tried this and this is on a Seiko 7019A um, mainspring and barrel movement and I um, have always prior to this wound mainsprings in by hand because the price of a mainspring winder set is very very expensive so prohibitively so from a hobby point of view so I um, I saw this on Thingiverse and decided to have a go at printing it and the first attempt was unsuccessful and resulted in me breaking the bridle uh, of the, um, the the saddle at the end of the mainspring and this is a, a slipping mainspring for an automatic watch uh, so that wasn't successful. Um, I'm not overly concerned because the mainspring was had been sort of quite badly abused in the past by the look of it with several kinks in which I had to attempt to straighten. So I'm not ov overly surprised because they're not, um, they, they can snap quite easily. So I'm not hugely surprised that it did snap. And um, I tried the mainspring winder and initially I was unsuccessful because the gap in here was too wide and it was allowing the mainspring to sort of jump over itself and I've been having a bit of a think about it and trimming a few bits down and what have you and retrying it and I think there really is potential with this now you'd think this part here the pin would be the weak point you'd think this would be the bit that would break however that's proven to be very sturdy this is the second time I've wound in this mainspring now which was a little bit of a fiddle because um, the pin that I've inserted into here is too large so I snapped off the uh, the tang at the end that uh, connects onto the arbor as I say this particular mainspring, mainspring is scrap I'm going to be getting a new one for this barrel anyway um, but I've been trimming this down a little bit and retrying and as you can see it's actually wound in quite successfully and accordingly it will lined up he says hopefully snap in which it did apart from the fact that the tail of that has just popped out but you can see there that that has kind of it's it's going it's um it's yeah, it's the tail end of that snapped out, but uh, but as you can see, the the idea is there. It works. Uh, the principle of it is there, and uh, and it does work in principle. And I think with a little bit of work on that, I'm just going to have to let that unwind and try and wind it back in again. And um, I think with a little bit of work on that, uh, a bit of rejigging of the file and reprinting, this might actually be a viable. Uh, option for for us hobby watch type folk so I'm going to have a go at rewinding that back in and see how that looks I'm just going to use the tweezers to sneak that end in there a little better. Um, you can maybe hear the clicking as, as that spring is slipping, which um, is, as I say, because the, the end of it is broken, so the pin isn't actually contacting. But as I say, this is, this is essentially for test purposes as of this moment in time. So... This is just to kind of check the viability before I go and try and redesign this. So 
but as you just saw there this little clip is actually going to turn out to be a longer video than intended but as you saw there that's that's actually wound in and then what well, I'll, I'll try and do this uh, a bit better this time and get this lined up and um, I think what I would need to do is, is kind of resize it better to the barrel um, and maybe have to make different ones for different barrels according to the size of the barrel which is not a particularly challenging thing because uh, it's a relatively quick print in three parts it's really not that hard so I'm just going to try and snap this in there Oop, and there's the, the tail of that trying to pop out again. Let's see if I can squeeze that in before it does. Look at that. And there you go. Now how cool is that? A, a, a homemade 3D printed, I can't take credit for the file by the way, it's on Thingiverse. Uh, I will stick a link in the comments below to the file location and um, be aware that it's going to need a little bit of fettling and fiddling and hopefully hopefully I'm going to be I'm going to have a play about with that when I get a moment and try and tweak it to suit for specific barrels as I do them and see how that goes it might be a complete failure and I might uh, just end up going back to hand winding them but uh, there you have it. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me if you've uh, if you've watched this. But uh, and I hope this has been useful for you. Thank you.